I was going to wait until I got off to actually make a video concerning this topic, but I said I have to talk about this right now while all the things I want to say about this is fresh in my head. Now, I just got done talking to my coworker about this, and both of us was cracking up having a discussion about this. Like, this is exactly why this particular group fell into the mental illness category years ago and probably why they need to go back into the mental illness category. So this person's name is Angela Ponce or Ponce. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce their last name, but it's spelled P-O-N-C-E. And they just recently competed in the Miss Universe pageant under the title of Miss Spain. Now, they said this person made history because they are the first transgendered person to compete in the Miss Universe pageant. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a man. This is not a natural born woman. They competed in the pageant. They didn't win. I don't even know if they placed, but they competed. I guess they said that, that they wanted to make a statement. Now, I could have talked about it in the aspect of, you know, whatever but i said i felt like it had no significance as to me giving any attention to it until somebody tagged me in something on twitter in which they made a statement when they were being interviewed at some kind of a function this individual said out of their mouth and i quote that having a vagina does not make them a woman I'm going to repeat that. They said out of their mouth, having a vagina does not make them a woman. That is like me saying having a dick does not make me a man. Somebody please help me make this shit make sense. And to add insult to injury, they also went on to say that in their mind, they are a woman, and what is defined in their mind as being a woman pretty much overrules what goes on between their legs. So basically, in their head, they are a woman, and it shouldn't, and whatever is lying between their legs or what was lying between their legs should not define them as such. And they also went on to say, and this one is what made me and my coworker bust out laughing, is when they said they knew that they were a woman. Or a female before they were born. Hold on. How in the hell do you know what sex, you're, what gender you're going to be before you're even born? How would you even know that? Your parents don't even know that. You have to go a couple of months down the line when you and then get a checkup. And then, that'll, then the doctor will determine what your sex is, boy or girl. In rare cases, you might be intersexual or intersex, meaning, or the, the uh, more slang term, hermaphrodite, which is very rare, which is a combination of both sexes. This is exactly why, like I said, people who have labeled themselves as transgender or they're transitioning, when they say stuff like this, is exactly why they've been they were placed into the mental illness category years ago. They took them out of it and replaced it with gaming, which I don't know why, but they need to put it back in there just based on this uh, statement alone. And I was actually talking to my coworker about it who was a woman, and I said, this, on a serious note, this is very disrespectful to a natural born female because a natural born woman, she has to go through so many things. She has to have her period. She goes through pregnancy. She has children. She has to, you know, see the gynecologist, where, you know, that, you know, all the stuff, get that pap smear, and a whole bunch of other stuff and different bodily changes that she has to go through. You, sir, and I, yes, I called you a sir cheated because you bypassed all of the stuff a natural woman had to go through and just went and got a few checkups put yourself on a doctor's table got some things snipped got some things put in probably took some stuff um some things by you know the, the um the mouth as far as kind of maybe like some kind of hormone not hormone but some kind of estrogen meds probably shaved down your adam's apple 
And voila, now you are a quote unquote one man. But guess what? You can do all of that stuff on the physical side and put a lot of stuff in you. But one thing that will never change is that biological makeup that deems you as a man. You will always have that XY chromosome. You will never have children naturally. You will never have a period. You will never have to uh, go through anything else that a natural born woman has to go through. All you had to do was cheat your way there. And that's the disrespectful part of it all. But this but this little part right here, and I'm going to end the video after this. To the ladies out there, to the natural born women out there, y'all need to also call this stuff out. Because what they're trying to do is make this shit normal. Imagine you are now, you were probably in the world competing in the dating pool, and one of the people you're competing against used to be a man. And you lose to that used to be a man person. Also, they have it now where you have men who transition into women and now they want to compete with females in sports such as boxing, track, and a host of other things. And that person always wins. Why is that? Because even though they physically, tra they physically look different on the outer appearance, internally they still have that male strength that a woman does not possess. And that, again, is cheating. I think I've said all, all I needed to say about this. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.